Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are here with Remodel Hands with Mia and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I didn't think that it would happen this quickly, but it did. So I just want to pour out how much I am thankful and grateful for you all for supporting me and supporting my channel and just supporting what I do. I am not a professional by no means. I'm just someone who loves to DIY and just kind of have that hand to remodel or do projects. So I have a lot of things planned for my channel. So I hope you all can stick, stick along with me and just follow me during this journey as we remodel my childhood home, my mother's home, and see, you know, what the days bring. So, first and foremost, today, while we are here, I am doing those doors over that was in the paneling video. So I did say that I was going to replace the doors, but I decided not to after I received so many comments on that I should replace them. I should just stain them. The color of the mantle, I should paint them. Like I had so many things. I should do barn doors. So I decided not to do barn doors because I do love them, but it just not wouldn't, it just wouldn't fit in the space because right beside those doors is a couch so I wouldn't have anywhere to slide the door so that's why I decided not to do it because the space just couldn't fit it I do have somewhere else that I want to put barn doors so stay tuned for that video but I decided to stain the doors the color of the mantle so here is how I did it and come along with me I started this project with sanding down the doors. I didn't sand down to the bare wood, but I sanded down enough to strip off all the dirt, the gunk, and everything, the just years of wear and tear on these doors. Um, these doors have been in the house since we, um, I'm not sure if it was here when I bought it, my mom purchased the house, but it's been here as long as I can remember. And it had crayon drawings when we were younger and candle wax, literally everything you can think of on these doors if you have children in your house <laughs> so yeah this is a way you can upgrade your doors with a cheap and affordable price So the stain I'm using is a stain that I purchased from Home Depot. Um, I can't remember the brand name, but it's in a yellow can and it's sold at all Home Depot stores. The color that I'm using is ebony and I'll link it in the description box below. I know somebody said that I should start linking it more. I am going to link it so um, it'll be there. And I just used a paintbrush to apply, to apply it because I feel like it, I can control more that is going on. I wanted it to really soak. Something about this, I had to let the stain soak, in, soak into these doors because when I first applied it, it just wasn't going into the wood. So I let it sit for a little while. I actually didn't really even wipe anything off um, and it, it took a few days to dry. So it looks pretty good um, after the same the stain settled in but yeah if you don't like how dark it is you can use a rag to wipe it off and um, just keep your rag close by to just wipe it and control it
Y'all, my dog, Sasha, she is trying to steal my stuff. She always does this when I do projects outside. She comes and tries to take the things that I'm using in my tools. She'll go in my toolbox and everything. So she comes in multiple times and then she barks on the side because she can't have it. So you know that is her. So I replaced all the hardware with these doors, all the hardware that was in the doors, the rollers, the tracks, um, the kit at Lowe's. I'll also link that if I can find it. And I just needed to replace it because some of the hardware was broken. So just started over new and fresh so they can last for years to come. And I'm just putting this up and with my screwdriver and it worked pretty well. Y'all, don't come for me in the comment section. I know that um, I forgot to stain the little inside part of the door right there. And I am going back and doing it. Over. But yeah, I lost that. And I was like, mm, I should probably stain it. So I will. But I know, though, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Here is the finished product and what it looks like. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look exactly the same each door. So the door the thing just wouldn't take as much. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks amazing. Comment down below what you liked about it. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.